Class Rock bass solos and Class Rock bass lines, where to start part two. You want to be great, then learn and do what the greats do. Emulate the great lines and your bass lines will be great also. And I don't mean just bass lines. Emulate all kinds of lines, guitar lines, sax lines, trumpet lines, all of that. Get ideas from other musicians, not just bassists. Get ideas from other musicians, kind of like Jocko did. He took the melodies of every song he learned and he learned that bass line. He learned that on bass and it helped him create just phenomenal bass lines throughout all his songs. And you will do the same, but you don't just stick with listen, listening to the bass lines and learn those. I mean, definitely learn those first. Definitely get the idea of bass down first. Get the, get the whole idea of staying in the pocket and being true to that song. You don't want to be this guy that's playing all melodies and trying to be in the forefront all the time. You want to be a bassist and that's kind of laying down the low end, staying back in the pocket, giving that foundation. And this will help you develop a much better musical ear and it'll help you know why these lines sound, why these certain tones in these bass solos sound great and what makes them sound great. This will help you learn all of that. So before we get into it, I want to introduce myself. If you're new here, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor of the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. Jump over there, subscribe, become a member for free, and get a free ebook on setting your bass up. If this is new to you, then you want to know all the ins and outs on how to set your bass up to you. Every bass is different, subjective to each individual. People play them all different ways, so you get the whole kit and caboodle of how to set up your bass to you, how you like it, and it takes a little time. You gotta tweak things here and there, and you'll learn all that with that ebook. So definitely subscribe, become a member for free. And when you're serious about your bass playing, sign up. Get well on your way to reaching your bass playing goals. So let's get into it. The way to create these great bass solos and bass lines is definitely by emulating the standard, your idols, your bassists that you're fond of, you love their music. Definitely emulate them, but then take it to a next level and emulate the great lines that, you know, just move you when you listen to it. Not every song you listen to and moves you is because of the bass line. It's probably something else going on in there that really helps you, moves you emotionally. And that's gonna be the other lines. And the idea I have today and we're gonna work with is going to be sax solos. Nothing cooler than that. You know, some people, like if you listen to Flea from the Chili Peppers, he could play trumpet and he played, um, he emulated a lot of trumpet players in some of his bass lines, which are those real, those little breaks they do in the middle of the song, it's just, you know, it's almost, it tees you because they give you just a little taste of just this awesomeness and then they go back, you know, then they just leave you there and they go back into the song. It's just, you know, still cool, but just not as cool as those little breaks they do in there, which are just awesome. But he utilized trumpet lines as well for his stuff. But sax solos are the coolest stuff. They're all over the place. And I'm a big Steely Dan fan. So one of my biggest sax solo lines that I, is one of my favorites is Gaucho. So if you stick around for this, I'll break that down at the end of this video and we'll have fun with that. But there are several sax lines out there that are just cool. And I have a list here real quick that'll help you, you know, give you something to listen to. And then if you sit down and you just you practice and you exercise your ear training and you figure out these sax lines on bass, you'll have fun with it. And it's definitely will help you just figure out how they, you know, how these chords work together and everything works together and how they sound so good and why they sound so good. Okay, now if you've heard the song Money and you know that bass line, that is cool, but if you're too busy playing the bass line and you didn't notice the huge, the great sax solo in there, then you're missing out. So go back and listen to Money and listen to that sax player. Great sax player, Dick Perry is playing that sax line and figure it out. Play it on bass, it's so cool. Just transpose it is all it is. You don't have to play it up. You're not gonna hit the notes of a sax player, tenor sax or what have you. You're not gonna find those notes on this bass. So you just have to take them down, play it a little lower in a lower register and it still sounds cool. Just get the idea of it. Foreigner's Urgent has a great sax line and it also by Junior Walker. And the cool thing about it, he wasn't in Foreigner. Junior Walker was playing live at a show when they were in a studio and they happened to get him to play that sax solo. And it's, it's been one of his most popular sax solos that he's done in his, in his career. Super Tramp, logical song. It's a great sax line in there also. Bob Seger, old time rock and roll. 
get that sax line in there. His sax player was something else. Then we got Baker Street. That's a good one. That's a definitely real popular one. You probably didn't know the name of it, but check it out. Baker Street. Street. Listen to that sax solo. Very cool. Very, very um, popular and recognizable. You got David Bowie's Young Americans. Great sax Probably one of the top 10 sax lines is in that one. Italian restaurant, a Billy Joel fan, a big Billy Joel fan here. Um, that's got a great sax line. Break that one down, figure it out, learn it. Um, Italian restaurant by Billy Joel, great song. And the last one's by the Rolling Stones, Waiting on a Friend. There, and this isn't the last one, there's millions of these, but these are just some of the more popular and more recognizable sax solos. So you could play those on your bass and people will be like, wow, I know that song. So. That's a cool way to impress people right there. Learn these songs on bass, these sax lines on bass, and you'll really improve by leaps and bounds when you're doing that. Then, then break it down. Just get the idea, figure out what the core, the bass line is, what the chord progression is, and then when you're playing these sax lines, you'll notice these notes inside of this chord, and you're like, all right, that's cool, so that's, you know, what is that? So that's one way to start. That's a great way to start right there. Just break down these songs. I don't even know how many that was. I think it was 10. NXS has another one too that was real popular. Never Tear Us Apart. Great sax solo in that. That's probably, that one's real recognizable um, right there. So there's 10 or 11 of them. Have fun with those. Now let's break down one of my favorites is Steely Dan's Gaucho. I'll leave a link down below of the song. You can just click on it and give it a listen. But it's just gonna be. So that's in the key of F, starts on D, so it's just utilizing the D minor, D minor chord right there. Um, actually just a D minor triad. So it's just D, F, A, and just utilizing those chords and then A, um, G, A, G, A, and then it goes to the B flat. B flat. to the F. these notes here D F A B flat G a little um F major pentatonic scale here and even sax players may play pentatonic scale so it's not just bass players it's sax players too so that's just gonna be um, like I said major pentatonic scale right there and then it utilizes a D C B, C to A and then it does the A G F and then the little lick here A G F back to G to F and then it does from D C A B flat A G F that kind of those notes right there but just figure it out. playing like this okay so those notes would just play that rhythm there so all right so that's gaucho amigo hope you got something out of that and just some ideas or something to work with you know so you're not just wondering how to you know where to start now you know where to start and hopefully you got some value out of that. If you did, hit that like button for me. Help me help you. And it's I want to play bass, your YouTube channel, everything bass. Subscribe, hit that bell down below, and get in the loop. Don't miss a beat.
and check out this blues playlist here I've got several blues lines here blues turnarounds like that you can enjoy and learn from as well so see you there